you ever wondered whether your sunglasses actually protect your eyes from sunlight? Today, we're going to find out. UV radiation is a form of electromagnetic radiation found in sunlight. Though UV radiation has its health benefits, since it provides us with vitamin D3 and more, it is also known to cause damage to our eyes and skin. The most common forms of UV radiation are UVA and UVB. While our eyes can handle a significant amount of UVB, UVA radiation infiltrates the eye much more, which can instantly cause some temporary damage like red eyes and excessive tearing, but can also have negative effects on the long run, like increased risk of developing cataracts and macular degeneration. To combat the harmful effects of sunlight on our eyes, we often wear sunglasses on sunny days, but do these actually protect our eyes? We'll be using a simple transmission setup to measure the lenses of multiple sunglasses so we can see what radiation they block. The setup consists of a broadband spectrometer, in this case we're using the Avaspec ULS 2048CL EVO, a light source, we're using the Avalite DHC, a compact light source with both a deuterium and halogen bulb, two fiber optic cables, and a transmission stand. The results will be shown in Avasoft, our spectroscopy software. We will measure the transmission of different pairs of sunglasses by putting the lenses in between the two fiber optic cables. From the resulting spectra of these measurements, it is clear that every pair of sunglasses we tested blocks UV light. You can see that all pairs of sunglasses filter different colors of the visible spectrum in different quantities, which can influence the strain on your eyes in bright light conditions. And what's the difference between all these pairs? The quality of a pair of sunglasses is not only determined by its ability to block UV radiation, what also matters is the coating and the percentage of visible light transmission of the lenses. The lower the percentage of visible light transmission, the darker the lens will be and the more light and colors it will filter out. Spectroscopy can be used to research various subjects. We'll be exploring some of the numerous applications for spectroscopy in these short videos we'll call flash applications. Let us know if you have any topics you'd like to see us cover. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.